Okay, welcome to lesson six. We've got a fair bit to cover here, but I think that you will um, find the information very, very powerful. And I was hesitant whether to put this particular webinar in the Science of Fat Loss Certification course, um, because I cover quite a bit on cancer as well. And then when you understand the statistics that one in two people born after 1960 um, in the UK, and I'm sure it's very similar to all, all other sort of westernized countries now, will be diagnosed with cancer. So, and also it's very difficult to train when you're ill. So we're going to look at what's causing um, the exponential rise in this particular disease, and more importantly, how we can optimize our immunity so we have a lifetime protection against multiple diseases and it allows us to train harder you know you can't train hard if you're constantly sick so i think just hold on to your seat this is a long webinar so you know take pauses take notes have a breather and um you know hold on to your seat because there's some exceptionally powerful life-saving life-changing information here um which will be massively beneficial to you your clients and your family Okay, so first of all, um, I've mentioned this before, there are three primary causes to all diseases, including cancer, um, and also including obesity, including diabetes, including dementia, um, you know, and that's when, this is what I realized when I wrote my last book, which I keep referring back to, Stop Killing Yourself with Your Knife, Fork and Thoughts. It was like a eureka moment for me, even though there are many, many, diseases which are labeled because if you label a disease you can medicate a disease but there are only three primary causes to all those diseases and those are nutrient deficiencies toxic overload and long-term stresses if you can address that then the likelihood of disease knocking your door is exceptionally um you know sort of avoidable you know so I mean, I had the opportunity many years ago studying nutritional microscopy, and this is why I've got this particular slide here. I studied the terrain theory, and the terrain theory was modeled on the work of Antoine Beauchamp, and it went against his contemporary, which was Louis Pasteur, which is what modern medicine is based on, which is basically medicate and vaccinate. Uh, where Beauchamp realized that disease only arises when the internal environment in, inside your body starts to spoil. And there's microorganisms living within us, as we saw from the last webinar, and literally trillions of them. And they can either live in harmony with you or disharmony, depending on the environment. And now that environment depends on optimum pH levels, nutrient levels, what levels of toxins you carry in your stress levels, and everything that I've just mentioned, the nutrient deficiencies, toxic overload and stresses. Now, when you start becoming um, deficient in nutrients, the toxins start to become um, accumulate and you have these multiple stresses, then the terrain starts to change. It becomes much more favorable for all diseases. And as we know, and I'm not knocking modern medicine, um, you know, some parts of modern medicine is just absolutely phenomenal. And some parts is, is generally, um, in my opinion, it's, it's legalized, um, it's legalized killing. That's why, you know, as we'll see some stats later on. Um, so the germ theory, which is the modern medical paradigm, vaccinate the fish, medicate the fish, don't worry what the fish eats, don't worry about what the fish is swimming in. Those fish really are analogous to our cells. Our cells are only as healthy as the fluids they swim in. And then, as I said, you know what Bishamp realized, look, if you can keep the fluids that our cells, um, you know, sort of um, live in, you know, you nourish the cells, you keep the cells um, detoxification pathways working efficiently, you know, and then you can sort of... Um, you can keep these goldfish ourselves then functioning much more optimally. And on um, Louis Pasteur's deathbed, he was reported to say, and um, Bernard, who was another contemporary of Pasteur, was right and I was wrong. And he concluded that the pathogen, the germ is nothing, the terrain is everything. Trust me, this is such powerful information to know. And even the father of pathology went on to say later on, if I could live my life over again, I would devote it to prove, proving that germs seek their natural, natural habitat, disease tissue, rather than being the cause of the disease tissue. E.g., the mosquitoes seek the stagnant water, but do not cause the pool to become stagnant. And it's a bit like if, you know, I used to use an analogy, 
you know, like 